What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Show and Tech. So today's video, we are unboxing the MacBook Pro 13 inch 2020 variant. Now, just as a quick heads up, this is what I'm coming from. So you can see my current laptop is terrible. There's like a dead spot on the screen right there. The bezels are massive. It's a Lenovo Yoga. It's not a good laptop. It's super slow. So I figured it's about time that I upgrade. Uh, I left it as the base model. All I did was added 16 gigs of RAM to it. So you might've remembered from my iPad Pro unboxing, which I have sitting right here. I've been using this guy for a week now. Awesome device, just as an aside. But uh, in that video, I said I ordered the MacBook Pro and I ordered the wrong one. So now I've got the right one here. I kind of wish I kept both so that I could test out the performance difference when rendering and doing various things with the eight gigs versus the 16 but that's neither here nor there. So you might be wondering why I bought the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and a MacBook Pro. I'm a very indecisive person, trying to figure out which one would suit me best for the online courses that I'm taking. And so far, the iPad Pro has been unbelievable. But aside from that, I've been really intrigued by Final Cut Pro 10. I usually do my editing in Premiere Pro, and I've also been intrigued by uh, LumaFusion, so this has given me an opportunity to kind of test out and see which one I do prefer of those three platforms. And this is actually my first MacBook. I've never owned a MacBook before. I've never purchased a Mac computer before. So I'm very, very intrigued by the MacBook Pro line, and I wanna see what this 13 inch is capable of. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the unboxing. So as always, pull off this quick tab, nice and easy. And let's find our piece de resistance, which should be the beautiful Mac Pro. Oh, there's tabs here to pop it out, sorry. Let's pop that guy out. Ugh. Boom, so that's it. We've all seen an unboxing of this before, so I probably don't need to waste too much time uh, showing you what it looks like again. Let me just confirm that the specs are right on the back. It looks like because I didn't get the actual base model, the sticker this time doesn't give me everything. Oh wait, there it is. 16 gigs, good to go. So, let's get this guy open. Um, one thing that I've learned since starting to buy Apple products this year, the unboxing experience of these guys is so satisfying. If you're into ASMR and all that, then this is your dream right here. All right, so we've got all the plastic off. I know it's gonna be difficult because my camera angle right now is terrible, but let me pop off this lid. Oh. Boom, and inside you've got the MacBook just sitting there, nice and pretty. I think I went with the space gray. Is this space gray or silver? I don't even know. I just chose one. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is space gray. So before I open that up, the part that I'm actually super excited about, more excited than I probably should be under the manuals and all that stuff, is this massive charger right there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera because of the exposure, but that charger, I'm excited because I wanna use it to charge my iPhone SE, which I don't know if that is recommended or not. And I wanna use it to charge the iPad as well. So the iPad does come with a pretty fast charger already, but I know that this one is going to be much faster and nothing like an extra long USB-C cable right there. So we'll set that aside and we'll jump into the actual MacBook here. And the weight of it, I was expecting it to be a lot lighter. So my Lenovo Yoga is very heavy. I thought that the MacBook Pro would be significantly lighter than the Yoga, but overall, not too bad. And if I show you my wife's computer, I don't know, it's, it was around here somewhere. My wife just has, oh, here it is. My wife just has a Acer Chromebook. So she's also looking forward to this upgrade and having something to use that isn't super, super slow. So we're, we're doing big things in this house in terms of upgrading our tech. So pop this guy off. Not as satisfying as the rest, but overall this feels pretty nice. So if I pop that open, like I've seen in other videos, Sorry, struggling to get the leverage. Boom. Take this off. Did the Apple logo show up? 
that's supposed to be a thing. There you go, Apple logo, everything's good to go. Now, unfortunately, when I was taking that off, I already smudged the screen, which kind of bothers me, not gonna lie. <laughs> but overall, pretty nice. I'm not gonna spend time talking about the keyboard. All I wanna know is, does this keyboard feel better than my Lenovo Yoga keyboard? Because everyone talks about how magical it is. I'm assuming that it does, though. To use English as the main language, press the return key. And as, I, as much as I knew that was going to happen, it still is surprising when it does. So, move forward. And while it's doing its thing, I mean, I've heard a lot about the keyboard. To me, personally, it really just feels like a keyboard. I don't know. I'm not very... Uh, picky about my keyboards, I guess. So it kind of just feels normal. <laughs> it's nothing to write home about really. Uh, it must be people who own the previous version that complain about like the butterfly switch that or whatever. Contains a built-in screen reader called voiceover. It's great. It cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. And like I said with the iPad video, um, because this is my first Mac device or my first Apple laptop, I know that I want to make a video about how I have found it, uh, maybe like a month from now or a couple weeks from now, whatever it might be. And yeah, those videos are very common on YouTube, but again, it's a personal thing. So whether you want to watch it or not, I'm definitely going to end up making it. But if you made it this far, thank you for watching my first ever MacBook Pro or just MacBook in general unboxing. Super excited to see what this device is about and super excited to pair it, or compare it rather, to my iPad Pro 12.9. I heard that I can make this iPad like a second screen for it, so I'm really looking forward to that. But either way, that's been it from me. Thumbs up if you like this video, subs if you wanna come back. Much love as always, throwing up two of them, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, and I gotta find the cap. Ah.